Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello there, my name is Salim Javed and I'm an assistant professor at the Faculty of Mass Communication and Media Technology at SJT University. As this is our 18th video in the row, uh, in this video we are going to explore the world of electronic media. As you know that media can be divided into three types, print media, electronic media and internet based media. In the last video we explored the world of uh, uh, print media and in this video we are dealing with electronic media and in the next video uh, we are going to talk about new media so let's get started with electronic media now electronic media are media that uh, use electronics or electromechanical energy for the end user to access the content this is in contrast to the static uh, media uh, the print media which uh, today are most often created electronically but does not require electronics to be accessed by the end user in the printed form. Most new media are in the form of digital media. However, electronic media can be in either analog or digital format although the term is uh, usually associated with content recorded on a stored medium. Recording are not required for live broadcasting and online networking. Obviously you can record it if you want but uh, uh, it is technically not required. Any equipment used in the electronic communication process may al also be considered as um, electronic media, uh, radio, television and internet are the most important electronic media because electronic media can be in either analog or digital format. This video uh, concentrates only on television journalism in which we will try to understand how a uh, newsroom works, what are its department and what is done uh, in those departments and we will also understand the structure of a bulletin, uh, structure of a news bulletin in detail and towards the end about television anchoring. Now, television journalism combines the strength of uh, uh, print media journalism and radio journalism and present it in a motion because it is an audiovisual medium. Television journalism deals with uh, uh, with the imparting uh, of impartial, accurate and objective reporting of the event like the print journalism and shares the same uh, uh, common journalistic values as well. It also relies on news sources. Editorial control is also exercised. It also performs the vital social role of keeping the public informed about events uh, uh, thus it creates, it, it also creates a kind of a culture of uh, public uh, consciousness about uh, broader social issues, uh, political issues, uh, uh, educational issues, environmental issues and education and uh, economical issues. So it informs about everything that is happening in our society and around us. Like print media, it also works as a watchdog of democracy. Television journalism is free from the shackle of literacy. This is one of the main important, this is one of the major strengths of, uh, uh, of television journalism. It means that you only have to see it to understand it. It only affects your 
it not only affects your emotions but also uh, smooths the um, intellect as well. If print media exist in space, television journalism exists in time. As television journalism tends to be simpler, it therefore deals more with events. Here, speed is the key. It all starts, uh, you know, with a meeting between 9 to 10 a.m. for a news channel. All the heads, editorial heads, channel head, news editor, uh, news director, input and output head, programming head and other senior officials are summoned by senior editor. The plan for the day is laid out. The programming head chalks out. Uh, the plan for the prime time bulletin and editorial head under whom all the um, editorial staff, anchors and technical staff is there, you know, proposes the angle he or she wants to take on that lead news. Each day may have a different lead story or the continuation of some important event for a day or two. It depends on the nature of the story, what kind of a story is being continued. If it is of, uh, uh, of uh, high importance, then it will continue. Then efforts are put to get some exclusive interviews and all the preparation, be that technical preparation or editorial preparation, is, is started to stay ahead in the competition. What I have just said has all the people, all the personnel and all the duties that all of them will be carrying out throughout the day. What you and I see when we switch on our television and we start seeing the news is basically the result of what I have just discussed. Now, let's pick up each and every uh, person and department separately and understand them one by one. If you heard me carefully, I mentioned about the news director, but what uh, this person, he or she does in a newsroom? Well, television news director uh, or television news directors manage television station news department and, uh, and the staff to ensure uh, the accurate, timely delivery of the news. He or she is overseeing the da daily operations of the television newsroom and website content, reviewing stories to make sure that they are fair and accurate before they go on air is also the part of uh, his or her job. Ensuring adherence to the journalistic and legal standards, solving problems when stories selected to be broadcast aren't working together or are not coming together. So monitoring news development and uh, sending news feature ideas to personnel for content creation is done by these people. Now next list, um, next person in the list is programming head, very important person. A programming head is responsible for uh, uh, shaping programming strategy and direction for the TV channel and contributing to the overall vision for the channel. He or she will manage and direct all aspects of uh, uh, programming from uh, formulation of strategy and implementation and will lead and manage a team of, uh, uh, of professional people. So basically, uh, he will be dealing with almost with everyone. Programming head plan and schedule function and adopts a broad strategy and creative view. Uh, he or she works closely with the marketing, uh, advertising, sales and distribution department to ensure that the program strategy is integrated with other department strategies so that uh, it can help uh, maximize revenues opportunities. The competitive um, analysis, so the competitive analysis, planning and scheduling will help shape the channel um, and it will help channel to grow a loyal audience base. Operations manager um, heads the traffic department. If you remember in the last video we talked about what is traffic, whose responsibility is to set the advertising schedule that is crucial to maximizing a station's revenue and keeping commercials on air. Logical thinking and good task juggling abilities are critical in this position. An operational manager's job is highly stressful. 
his or her performance could mean the difference between the sales department achievement, um, its budget or not. So it's basically his performance which could mean the difference between the sales department achieving the budget or not. Commercial television stations rely on advertising to generate revenue. The station sales manager works with the um, ad sales staff on lead generation, sales technique and uh, client relationship to sell the station's available commercial time. The term general sales manager or GSM is uh, uh, sometimes substituted for director of sales or DOS or in Indian context only the sales manager. In large markets the, or in, in, in bigger uh, television studios, uh, the sales manager may supervise a team along with the news director and business manager. The director of sales is the part of general managers in a circle. Now, this particular job is extremely demanding and um, you know, this position requires uh, exemplary management skill. Now, when we watch uh, news on television, we get to see a lot of ads on news channels. The duration of these advertisements and the frequency of commercial breaks might irritate you. You know, you want to see news but uh, advertisements keep on playing. So, there should be a balance uh, between channel's revenue and audience uh, viewing experience. Uh, channels should take a middle path. Advertisements are must for financial sustainability, but if uh, you lose viewers, then um, you know you will also lose advertisement revenue as well. Now, Telecom Regulatory Authority of uh, India tries advertisement cap is 12 minutes per clock hour. So in one hour, you can only show 12 minutes of advertising has been challenged in court and there is um, also a possibility of favoring uh, or a favorable judgment but at last channels will have to follow this cap under the uh, viewers pressure so even if you win it in court you have to follow what people are expecting so the ad cap rule restricts the television channels so it can be a news channel it can be a non news channel also from showing advertisement exceeding 12 minutes per hour in this 12 minutes 10 minutes of commercial advertisement and two minutes of self promotion by the channel is allowed the rule was notified by the regulatory in 2013 now when you look at the screen screen layout is one of the key presentation related aspect everything is done for the viewers only if viewers do not like the present screen layout channel will have to modify it so the way channel looks in this four frame is basically the layout news channels have become half newspapers they are giving a lot of material on their screens to read Due to you know uh, throat cut competition, channels want to provide more and more information to the viewers. This is, I mean, there is one more angle to it. Uh, sometimes um, more number of graphics um, compensate for the scarcity of the footage. Uh, for example, suppose. Uh, uh, if there is a big news but there is only 15 second footage of that incident in this case if you show this small piece of footage which is of 15 second um, on the whole screen repeatedly you, you know again and again it will certainly bore the viewer so channels show that footage repeatedly in a small window and uh, other updates may be provided through text on uh, different graphic um, overlays news channels provide maximum information through graphics now viewers can understand a lot of content even if the television is uh, mute so through visuals because there is a lot of text going on so people can really understand now let me move to the backbone of the news channel and that is input and output department. We will understand them thoroughly. If I say that the news is the prerogative of input and output department, will you agree with me? 
Okay, before you agree or disagree, let me explain it first and then you can agree or disagree with me. Had it been a uh, uh, print media, um, any lead would have been more than enough. But when it comes to television journalism, if the news is not supported by relevant videos or visuals, you might not be able to hold the news for a long time on screen. You know, people tune into a certain channel because it shows more than telling. Visuals are self-explanatory. If you want to make it big, you have to have visuals. If you are not able to get visuals, chances are that um, so you may have to drop the story just like that. So when you hear something like the news is the prerogative of input and output department, you might agree with me. Input department is one of the most important departments of a news channel, which has the responsibility to gather news from different sources. Input department collects the raw news stories from uh, uh, reporters, stingers, correspondents, news, bu news bureaus, uh, they also access and analyze all the news sources like uh, uh, news agencies, daily newspapers, in um, video feed from uh, the, the video feed from national as well as international news agencies. Also, if somebody wants to give any information to the channel, they call the input. Input head assigns uh, the reporters to cover some particular story. So, he or she is assignment head too. Ingesting all the feed and patching all the chats also are the responsibility of this department. Input department also gives the story ideas to the output department. We'll be learning about the output department immediately after input department and ask them to make the news package. We'll also learn about what is called a package. They provide the information required by the output. So, so, so researching and arranging the data required is also part of the job for this input department. Input also conceptualizes the programs based on the availability of information. Input also has the responsibility to collect feedback from the viewers, analyze the TRP television rating point, arranging the guests for the programs and coordinating the viewers call during the program. Now, as I'm talking about input department, you must have also heard about assignment department. So assignment uh, uh, and input are the two terms that are used interchangeably. Some news channels have uh, combined desk for the two, while few have uh, different or separate uh, staff and uh, different assigned work. Input takes care of what is required while the assignment takes care of how it will be done. If input is asking a story to be covered by a particular reporter, then assignment will co coordinate with them about the camera, camera person, OB van, community arrange, uh, commuting arrangement, etc. to smoothly conduct uh, the coverage. Usually input and assignments work in close coordination However, editorial calls are usually input's responsibility while the technical handling is assignment's responsibility. Now let's talk about reporters. Those who craft stories supported by their own research are considered journalists. However, not every reporter is a journalist. For example, a local television news reporter may take information that is gathered by a research staff including material that was written by some other journalist and relay the, this information to the audience. So there is a difference between a journalist and a reporter. Stingers are the one who are not on the official payroll of the news channel. They are freelance reporters, photographers, videographers who send their reports photos and videos to the news organization, they are paid depending whether their story is selected or not. Now, when we talk about Stinger, 
uh, stingers are well connected in the area from where they report and a good stinger is as good as a reporter because he or she is not on the payroll of the company. So that, that is a uh, good thing also and a bad thing also. Now let's talk about uh, cameramen. Now cameramen are the seldom seen eyes behind the broadcast news filming for both television and online sources while a reporter on the other side of the camera holds the spotlight and um, tells the story. These photojournalists often work odd hours to capture events and um, breaking stories from morning till evening for you know it to go on air. So the relevant visual should be there uh, when it comes to capturing a particular news. Related visuals also support, always support your story. Now let's talk about news agencies that are operational in India. So first in the list is Press Trust of India. It is one of the premier news agencies of India, a non-profit cooperative catering to more than 500 newspapers with a battalion of about 400 journalists and 500 stingers. PTI provides pan-India coverage making its presence in every district and small town in our country. The barometer of its excellence can be measured with the fact that it produces 2,000 news stories along with decent number of uh, photographs on a daily basis. Bhasha is its Hindi services. To provide a better international coverage, PTI has its tie-up with many international news bodies. As an agency, it was registered in 1947 but became operational in year 1949. It has its headquarters in New Delhi. It is run by board of directors and the chairmanship is on a rotation basis. Now, next in the list is United News of uh, India, UNI. UNI, United News of India. UNI is the next important news agency in the list which uh, uh, started its uh, commercial activities on 21st March 1961. It makes its presence felt with its news bureau in all the state's capital of India. By launching Univartha on 1st May 1982, UNI became the first Indian news agency to start multilingual news services. It has also the credit of being the first and only new service to provide news in Urdu since 5th June 1992. The next news agency in the list is capable of uh, providing news in 14 Indian languages. Yes, I am talking about the Hindustan Samachar, which was established on 1st December 1948. It is the news agency which has most of, most of the important newspapers and broadcasters in its list. As it is a modern news uh, service agency, it is operating through web intern technology. The services are in Hindi, Sanskrit, Bangla, Uriya, Okhumi, Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam, Kannad, Gujarati, Sindhi, Nepali and Punjabi. Next in the list is Samachar Bharti. The agency named Samachar Bharti was registered under the Companies Act in 1962. However, it took another five years before the agency began its operation from January 1st, 1967. Several newspapers were nevertheless among its subscribers and the agency provided uh, services in Hindi, Gujarati, Marathi, Tamil, Kannad, Urdu, Telugu, Malayalam, Bengali, Uriya and Punjabi. Samachar Bharti had uh, uh, even uh, arrangements for uh, exchange of news with the American UPI to bring world news to its newspaper clients as it strove to provide a complete service to them. Asian News International the presence of ANI is global, having its uh, emphasis on South Asia and especially India with its more than 100 bureaus. ANI is a modern news agency in true sense as it supplies content for different mediums of mass communication. The content is available in text for all the 
print outlets and in video form for news channels who want to avail ANI's uh, services as they cannot afford to keep their correspondent in every part of the country and in other major international cities. It also offers the audiovisual and pictures and mobile content for portals which are in online medium. It would not be wrong to call it a complete content store or a complete content warehouse. IANS Indo Asian News Services It picked on Diaspora and it worked very well for IANS. It worked as a link between India and North America since 1986. Today, INS has uh, transformed itself into 24 by 7 news agency, which is operating from Delhi NCR and other places and providing a different perspective on news from India, South Asia and from other regions of the world. INS divided into six business verticals. They are like INS Hindi, INS English, INS Publishing, INS Business Consultancy, INS Solution and Mobile. Besides these wire agencies, a large number of agencies which uh, deliver news material and article by hand or by mail uh, like the old establishment uh, uh, Indian Press Agency, INFA, Indian News and Feature Alliance and uh, Press Asia International and several um, you know, other agencies in Delhi and outside. Some as well, uh, uh, some as well catering to Hindi and Urdu and some other language also. There are also photo agencies and uh, cartographic service. Photojournalism as well as cartoons has uh, uh, developed fast and uh, a newspaper can hardly afford to go without them either. Uh, there are also agencies in the electronic field for the benefit of subscriber at home or at abroad. Among all these news agencies, PTI and UNI has uh, uh, made a great impact in the distribution of the national and international news in India. United Press International, Associated Press, Reuters and Agency France Presse the big four news agencies provide over 90% of foreign news printed by the world's newspaper. The coverage they provide is cheaper and more comprehensive than Spurs network of own correspondent. That's all as far as the input department is concerned. And now let's talk about the output department. Output department has a rundown, uh, panel, PCR, copy desk, ticker, packaging production under its belt. Now let's understand them one by one. The output department is uh, relatively the largest department of a news channel which creates uh, news packages out of the information that is being provided or that was available. First the news feed either sent by the reporter or the or the availability of it in the stock is analyzed and then the information is rewritten in a broadcast news format along with the logged byte and instruction of the video editor. The final version can be a package of uh, uh, some duration or only the byte of a person. So only you can have byte also a loop of footage uh, with voiceover and a byte also. So the footage with byte VBT, the, this package is given to PCR to play during a bulletin. Now, let's, you must have heard a word called rundown, so let's understand it. The rundown is built to make uh, apparent uh, the hierarchy of information and the rhythm of the newscast. It helps visualize the newscast with uh, all its sequence in the right order. It includes all editorial links given by the anchor or the jingle segments and visual tickers. So the rundown is written one or two hours before the broadcast. It's uh, given to all teams involved in the broadcast Obviously, it can be entirely rewritten if something huge happens. It switches between onset segment, intro, onset interview, link ups, 
and packages. It is the responsibility of a rundown producer to decide as well as write the serial order of news according to the news worth or news value. So basically it is the rundown producer who writes uh, this rundown. That's why he's called rundown producer. News producer is also responsible for uh, presenting the news in best possible manner so that uh, viewers can also enjoy it while watching the newscast. You must also have heard about PCR. It is also called the PCR or SCR. SCR means studio control room. It is a department in a news channel where the shape of the to be broadcasted news items are uh, put or arranged in a newsworthy manner. The news which is more important will come first, usually the hard news as compared to those news which is less newsworthy on the day. Some of them can be soft news too. The panel producer or the panel director is the head of the PCR. Uh, there is a technical director who operates the video switcher. Uh, the technical director is also responsible for the technical aspect of the production. The PCR also has audio director or audio technician who arranges for the audio recording equipments and uh, sets up and uh, uh, also responsible for the mics that are used. So monitoring uh, audio quality and controlling the audio level during a production. So this production is not limited only to news. It can be a sponsored program. Uh, it can be um, uh, we the people kind of a show where a lot of people come and um, debate is happening. The camera person and anchor in the studio are in direct contact with the panel producer and not only receive instructions time to time but also respond to PCI commands like uh, 10 seconds to go or um, cut, cue, take a break, wrap up, uh, which camera to look at, information about phone in and many more through a earpiece which is connected in PCR. Now, let's talk about copy desk. Any word that goes on air is checked and approved by the copy desk. Bigger organizations have many people in this department, be that reporter, stinger, news producer or rundown producer, uh, be it outsourced news, whether you have written it at your own or you have uh, corrected the copy of someone else. The script of uh, uh, any program like uh, Fadafat or Anchor Links, anything that is written, it's all checked here. At times, Stringer sends some visuals along with the script, but that report is not um, you know, written in an orderly manner. So people from copy desk rewrite the entire report as per the standard of the channel. If uh, some agency has sent uh, news along with the written material, it is the job of the copy desk to rewrite it as per the standard of the channel. So they rewrite it and completely give it a different uh, uh, shape, uh, whereas retaining the essence of the news they are basically the guardian of the words in our newsroom. Now let's talk about ticker. News tickers are most commonly seen scrolling near the bottom of the screen of a news channel. We have been using tickers from the beginning of private channel coming in India, but it be its popularity uh, spiked in international news channels after the attack on September 11, 2001. Since that time, many major news uh, stations um, CNN, Fox News, uh, MSNBC and many other have continued to keep showing the news ticker almost continuously. The news tickers allow breaking news to be shown to the viewer without interrupting the current broadcast. So that was the major problem which has been solved by using the tickers. As I said that we have been using it from the beginning of the post liberalization period. Now, I've been talking about packaging, packaging, so let's talk about what is packaging. 
a package is a cohesive writer piece which directly deals or opens with the issue comments on its present state including bites of relevant people and concluding with where the news will lead or what shape it's going to take in future an anchor link is written for each package which becomes the part of rundown script piece to camera or ptc is a common part of news package news packages are factual mini movies television news stories can be thought of as a miniature movies with a beginning middle and end now another very important department when it comes to news channel is mcr mcr stands for master control room the technical hub of a broadcast operation or we can say the heart of uh, all broadcast operations where the signals from the um, both audio and video pass through prior to transmission an mcr operator works within the mcr on equipment which might typically include video monitor satellite receiver it means uh, signal receiving and bouncing back to the satellite uh, lease line internet um, turn turn around uh, satellite lease line and uh, uh, play out encoding encryption uh, collocation mcpc uh, scpc signal monitoring in the broadcasting path like source play out encoding modulation uplinking and downlinking video and audio or even data uh mpeg stream um, carrier spectrum uh, managing automation and uh, uh, play out 24/7 and 360 operation operations agile to the last minute ad hoc changes and uh, uh, live event operation source signal reception uh, source signal reception via various media like it can be received from satellite from fiber optics or from public internet and uplink and uh, downlink cross formatting conversion video tape machines and transmission equipment so when you talk about you know the, at times when you read about uh, um, mcr you do not get to hear what i have just said but these are the part of mcr they check the quality of content ensuring that the transmission meets the government regulations and respond to any technical issue from other areas of the operation regulations include content uh, such as uh, station id indecency watershed uh, rules and technical regulations include those against over modulation and dead air so this is what about mcr uh this is really important what i have just said these are the functions of mcr now let's talk about whom you know very well is an editor so editing is selection arrangement timing and presentation television news editing is a very demanding job tv news editors work uh, with reporters and producers to create the final video uh, the story that uh, appear during a news broadcast you know there is an entire army of people other than what I, what we have just talked about you know there are people in library video library that our news channel has there are specific uh, beat reporters um sports desk people so there are three four five people sometime it can be more depending what event is going on then there are people in crime desk um, and sometime um, uh, people related to it uh, you know they are responsible for running a special crime based show uh, once or twice a week so there are people in promo team uh, there are people in graphics team there are people in uh, uh, costume department people doing makeup uh, uh, somebody is handling teleprompter also um, and there is an entire team of art director who is responsible for coming up the better idea for the studio set construction so there are so many people and with so many responsibility now let's move our attention to the structure of a bulletin so far we have understood the overall structure of a news channel we will be uh, picking up areas which will uh, technically 
completing and complementing the information which you have just received so it is like that you have got a complete picture now you are polishing uh, a part of it to the perfection as we know that we are now focusing on the structure of a bulletin so we are actually going back to the output department and now focusing on the work of rundown producer and his or her team so the rundown is a list which clearly states what is the content for next show or what are the news items coming in the next show or next bulletin and in which order. This rundown is the skeleton of the news bulletin. What you are seeing on your screen is the structure of a bulletin or rundown script breakdown. So let's understand it. So what you are seeing on the screen, the f on the top it is written channel IT. Okay. So when you get to hear or aap dekh rahe hain NDTV India or ABP News aapko rakhe aage is what you get to see quite often when the news starts that's channel ID. Now the second in the list is open or toss to head. Now what is open or toss to head means? It means when you get to see Namaskar, I am Salim Javed and today we will talk about the headlines of Assam and the headlines of Assam and the headlines of Assam. But first of all, the headlines of Assam. This is opening or toss to head. Then headline tag means when you get to hear headline is sponsored by Paanj Bhai Sabun. Mail ko kar de jal se saaf. So this is headline tag means. Then you get to see the headline, you know, uh, approximately within one minute. And then after that, the anchor link are played. And then you have only bytes or a complete package. So visual with anchor links or some package uh, playing for seven to 10 minutes segment. Now, why there is a variation of three minutes i said either seven or ten minutes so there is a variation of three minutes because many news channels are exceeding the ad cap fixed by telecom regularity authority of india try which is basically 12 minutes per clock hour what you and i are observing is almost 20 minutes of advertisement in one hour program or maybe more so then you have teaser one. So what is teaser one? When you get to hear, abhi waqt hai break ka break ke baad dekhenge kahan lagi paani mein aag. You know, so this is what teaser one is. So immediately after teaser one, when we have show up, when we have show open, when you get to hear the jingle or the news channel tune, with its name or the channel name. So, you know, you must have seen Globe is rotating and NDTV is written. Uh, so that's basically it is or uh, uh, music is playing and you see the text of uh, Aap Ki Adalat. So that is what it means. Then we see the ads in the first break. After the ad break, you get to show open and hear the jingle or the news channel tune with the name or the channel name, uh, you know, globe is rotating and then you have NDTV or music is playing and you have Aap Ki Adalat being played. Then we have the next news segment where we, after the anchor links, we have bytes or visuals with anchor link or again the, again some package playing from seven to 10 minutes segment Again, there is a variation of three minutes. I told you the reason why there is a variation of three minutes. Then we have teaser two and abhi waqt hai ek break ka break ke baad dekhenge kahaan lagi samandar mein a kind of a thing which ends with the same show open. You know, globe is rotating and NDTV is written and then you know, music is playing and aap ki adalat is written. Then we all see you know, ads in the second break. Then again, we get to show open and hear the jingle uh, with the channel's name and text written and music being played. So 
it's like um, you are seeing NDTV or you are seeing Aapki Adalat. So these are the just two examples. I'm not, I'm not here to promote any of the channel. I'm just giving it as an example. Uh, then uh, again, you have the next, next segment where after anchor link, uh, you either play the bytes or you play the package. Again, it's a segment of seven to 10 minutes. There is a variation of three minutes. I gave you the reason. Then we have teaser three. And uh, it's like abhi waqt hai ek break ka, uh, break ke baad dekhenge kahan lagi, jhaliyon mein aag kind of a thing, weird kind of a thing happens uh, sometimes, which ends with the same show open, you know, then um, music is playing and you are seeing the channel's name and things like that. And then we see uh, the ad in the third break, you know. All of it that you are seeing on your screen is basically how it works and uh, this is how we have a half an hour news bulletin. That is the structure of a modern bulletin of a Hindi news channel in India. Here the role of a rundown producer is crucial. It is part of the rundown producer's responsibility or the part of a rundown producer job that he or she has to decide the serial order of the news items according to the news value. Now, which import, which news has to come at what place is basically decided by rundown producer. To find the day's news, the producer will get assistance from uh, uh, assignment editors, reporters, um, uh, sometimes gets uh, feedback from input department also. The producer must sort out the importance of the news and determine the best way to present it so that viewer can not only see but also can enjoy the newscast. The producer is responsible for ensuring that each segment stands on its own with variety and careful placing to uh, maintaining the interest of the viewer. So maintaining the interest of the viewer is uh, one of the uphill task and uh, to solve this, you should know the mood of the people. The producer's first consideration is to plan the first new segment in the show. First segment always begins with the lead story. The most important news story of the newscast and perhaps of the day uh, is the lead story. If the story was featured in the previous newscast or is getting bigger with the latest development and there is a need to carry forward the same news in the next bulletin, the producer must find a different interesting approach for the same story. Now let's talk about timing when it comes to news. Throughout the process of uh, choosing stories and assigning them to appropriate blocks, the producer will note the expected runtime of each story. As the show begins to take shape, the producer may realize that there is uh, too much news and decide to skip a package or uh, um, and, and take a STD or VO instead or the producer might realize that there is not enough uh, strong stories to fill um, the time and ask a reporter to convert a VO into a package or STD view into a package. Having too much news is sometimes called running heavy while having too little news is running light. Now we talked about uh, ticker um, just uh, some time back. Now let's understand the components of ticker. You must have seen the graphical uh, uh, designed text breaking, coming and going in motion with sound effects. Top news uh, running continuously, the coming up band or the show bug uh, like Afat ki barish, you know, somewhere towards the bottom uh, left, which is basically uh, at the bottom the sign of live, the location band on top of right or left, it depends on the channel where they want to show exclusive band floating uh, from left to right in the middle of the screen continuously and the running number indicating which news is uh, uh, playing in fadafat format, you know, uh, and all these things are, all these things that we have just discussed 
are the components of ticker. Writing tickers calls for experience because you have to summarize the entire news in very limited words and according to the space available as it is a constantly moving, changing and repeated simultaneously kind of a thing. The chances of uh, making mistakes are really high. You know, at times uh, uh, many people have been fired um, for, um, you know, spelling mistakes or putting up wrong information unknowingly. These kind of mistakes can be fatal in newsroom working environment because you are expected to understand the news correctly. The news sense needs to be at its best when you are writing tickers. It also requires good and correct typing speed and you should also know the abbreviated form of uh, words and should be able to judge uh, what are the extra words that can be do away with because as far as ticker is concerned, smaller is better. Now let's talk about television anchoring. With the development of the 24-hour cycle and dedicated cable news channels, the role of the anchor has evolved. Anchoring is an extremely challenging aspect of journalism. This is uh, because of uh, it involves doing several things simultaneously. Guiding the flow of a discussion, keeping track of time limit, maintaining the link uh, between the studio and the PCR, and above all, appearing confident and in control. So he, he or she has to manage a lot of things simultaneously and, um, you know, appearing confident and in command is the key of uh, or for a, a news anchor. It is therefore a combination of coordination and presentation. Anchors present material prepared uh, for a news program. Uh, but they also write it sometimes and also interview experts about various aspects of breaking news stories and themselves provide improvised commentary many a times, all under the supervision of the producer who coordinate uh, the broadcast by communicating with the anchor through the earpiece who is there in uh, uh, PCR. Many anchors also write or edit news for their own programs, although modern news format often distinguish between anchor and commentator in any attempt to establish the character of a news anchor. They, there are basically or mainly two uh, kinds of uh, anchoring. Uh, one is called news anchoring and the other is called program anchoring. Of these uh, two, two anchoring, program anchoring is more challenging as it is more creative and the anchor cannot always fall back on a script. So when you are reading news, you are basically reading news from a teleprompter. So when, and you, when you are actually um, anchoring a program, chances are that the kind of statement that has come requires your original thinking and to comment upon. If you are anchoring a show, then you are basically in the viewer's living room. What you do, you talk to them and you do not read to them. It also means that you are talking to one person. Television is basically one-to-one -one medium. Just visualize that you are talking to your mother, how she likes it. She likes it clean, clear, slightly informal. It means in a conversational style, you should look interested, sound interested and energetic also. If you are not convinced with what you are delivering, then how you would expect the audience to be interested in hearing or seeing what you are telling them. You must be relaxed, conversational and more expressive than you would be in your normal communication. It will, you know, feel a bit goofy, but will work fine. Uh, the anchor should uh, sit on the front edge of the anchor seat. It will help him to lean a bit forward. When you turn from one camera to another camera, 
look down at the desk and then look in other camera. Since anchoring is a profession which involves extensive speaking, a thorough command over language, vocabulary, the word usage is absolutely essential for an anchor. Similarly, clean enunciation and good pronunciation is uh, indispensable for an anchor. So these are some uh, few uh, important things uh, which uh, anchor should have. You know, don't peek or look off camera. Smile, you know, on greetings and bumps and uh, use uh, inflections and expressions that match the story. Use the body language. When you move, try to move um, forward and backward and not sideways because it looks very odd. Read over the copy. You are going to deliver several times before going on air. Warming up sound is one of the most important exercises to keep a voice healthy and maintain your tone. Every human being has a unique and distinguished timbre. Only trained singers can change the timbre in a way that can alter the sound over tone and frequencies, giving brand new sound to life. But you and I, and especially I am not a trained singer. So, uh, you know, I have a certain way that I sound. And if you have been watching the entire series of total 19 videos, you know, you must have understood how I sound and uh, that's um, uh, you start expecting a certain kind of a timber of mine uh, when you see my face. Now, this vocal timber or um, as it is described as the quality of the tone utilizing complex overtones or sound waves is the unique something that gives color and personality to to our voice and how it is recognized. Though you cannot change your vocal timbre, but voice modulation is very important, effective and um, not difficult to achieve. It is uh, change in volume, pause, timing and pitching in a normal sense. So we will just be knowing what is volume, pause, timing and pitch uh, as far as voice is concerned. You must modulate your voice daily because if you do not learn how to do it, chances are that the speech that you are trying to deliver would fall flat. So voice modulation depends on four things. Pitch of the voice, pace of the voice, the pauses and the tone of the voice. One must keep on uh, practicing voice modulation because you are seen as well as heard on screen. So let's talk about pitch. The pitch is the volume of your voice. For example, if you are angry, your voice gets loud. If you are sad, your volume is soft. If you want to tell a secret, you whisper. Now, uh, next point uh, in the list is pace. Pace is your speed. For example, if you are nervous or scared, you speak very fast. When you are relaxed, you speak with clear and calm tone. Next point in the list is pause. It refers to the break we take in our sentences. You know, pause at co comma and full stop. We must also pause after giving important information. So that was a pause. <laughs> now, last in the list is tone. It is the emotion with which you speak tone for sad story will be different and tone for glorification of soldiers will be different. The anchor must recognize that for all practical purposes, he or she is a public figure 
and the face of the organization he or she is working for. The anchor must therefore refrain from any activity, public or private, which can bring the organization into disrepute. I am very sure that this video must have solved many of your queries related to the newsroom, the people, those who work in that room, structure of a bulletin and television anchoring. The information provided in this video will come handy whenever you need it. We will be covering new media extensively in our next video. Till then, take care and stay safe.